standard, we can do analysis of a two-port network, operations and behavior of any two-port network. Two-port network is a very important building block of most electrical system. On this standard sheet, we will calculate various parameters from this two-port network like Z parameter, Y parameter and ABCD parameter. So, for this, we will move on to the practical. So, this is our trainer kit of two-port network trainer. The order code for this trainer kit is 36335. We are also providing a user manual and patch course in the accessories. I will describe the trainer kit. This is the simple representation of a two port network. From this, this is the one source of voltage and this is the other source of voltage. This is the DC power supply plus 5, 12 volt and plus 5 volt. There are two power supplies for two different type of uh, voltage source. This is the power on off, si on -off switch and this is the complete kit and we have required two digital multimeters for the calculation of voltage and current of different circuits. So our first objective is to study the Z parameters of a passive two port network. For measurement <coughs> of Z parameters we have to calculate these values for Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. For Z11 we have to calculate V1, I1. For Z12 we have to calculate V1, I2. For Z21 we will calculate V2, I1. And for Z22 we will calculate V2 and I2 of the two port network. These are the descriptions which is Z11 as input driving point impedance, Z12 reverse transfer impedance, Z21 forward transfer impedance and Z22 output driving point impedance. For made up the circuit, we first connect a multimeter between 12 point 12 volt supply and point number 1 and we have set this multimeter to the current setting. Now connect ground point to the terminal number 2 and connect another multimeter between terminal number 1 and terminal number 2 and set this multimeter to 20 volt DC supply. So now we power on this kit. At this time we are getting 12 volts DC supply which is the V1 and it is about 10 milliamps <coughs> current which is the I1. What we have to find for Z11 which is V1 and I1. Put these values in the formula and you will get the Z11 parameter for one of a Z parameter. Now for calculating the other Z21 parameter, I1 we have calculated already. Now we have to find the V2 which is the voltage of output port. Now we connect voltmeter from V1 to V2. So we have find out the V2 and I1 which is already we have find out which is around 10 milliamps and this is the 4 volt output voltage V2. Put these values in Z21 and you will get the Z21 parameters. Now for calculating Z12 and Z22 parameters we have to apply the V2 from the source voltage of 5 volt DC supply. So we connect plus 5 volt, sorry, ground terminal 
to phone number terminal and the meter between plus 5 volt and three number terminal of this circuit and for v1 value we will connect voltmeter across v1 terminal which is 1 and 2 now we put the supply on here we get v1 is 2.57 volts which is the output volt from v2 supply and this is the current i2 put down this v1 and i2 value in z12 and you will get the z12 parameters now for finding out z22 value for this we need to we need to calculate the v2 so for this we will connect voltmeters across the terminal of v2 which is around 5 volts and i2 we have already find out from the last practical so put these values z22 for finding out the z22 parameter v2 we have get around 5 volts and i2 we have get around 6.4 milliamps so these are the resulted parameters which we have founded from z11 z12 z21 and z22 after finding out these parameters we have uh, you have to <coughs> put this answer resultant value in this formula in this table that's how you find out the z parameters of a two port network second objective we will calculate the y parameters or we can say short circuit parameters of the two port network from which this is the table given in the manual these are the y11 input driving point admittance y12 reverse transfer admittance y21 forward transfer admittance and y22 output driving point admittance so for these values we will map the circuit as per the diagram now these are the short circuited parameters for this for finding out y11 and y21 parameters the output port of the network uh, that is terminal 3 and 4 will be short circuited with the help of a patch port now we connect a meter between 12 volt and point terminal 1 and ground terminal to point number 2 and voltage across the terminal V1 we will calculate it by connecting the voltage meter here so now we switch on the power supply and we will see the circuit is showing 12.2 milliamps current and around 12 volts DC so this is the I1 current and V1 voltage from this two port network and which is required to calculate the Y1 para Y11 parameters from one of the Y parameters put these values in the I1 and V1 table and you will get the Y11 parameters now for calculating the Y21 parameter we are required I2 current which is the output current of this circuit for this we first remove the ampere meter from the voltage input terminals also remove the short circuit patch cord connect it from 12 volt to point number 1 terminal so the supply from one port is continuing to the circuit and connect the emitter at the end of V2 so you will get here the V1 input voltage and the I2 output current in milliamps put this value in Y21 parameter 
and you will get the output of y21 parameter which is the now to calculate y12 parameter we will we have to find out i1 and v2 for this we made the connection as the circuit diagram connect ground terminal to point 4 connect plus 5 volt terminal to terminal number 3 connect the voltmeter across the v2 terminal and connect ampere meter across the v1 terminal which is 1 and 2 now we switch on the power and we will get i1 current and v2 voltage which is required for y12 parameter put this values in this formula and you will get y12 parameters now for finding out the y22 parameter we will make the connection as per the circuit diagram so we will connect a digital ammeter between plus 5 volt and terminal number 3 the digital volt meter to the terminal number 3 and terminal number 4 connect ground terminal to terminal number 4 and short circuited the 1 and 2 parameter so we switch on the supply and here we get the i2 current which is 7.8 milliampere at this time and v2 voltage which is 4.97 volts at this time <coughs> so this is the y22 parameter put the i2 and v2 value in the formula you will get the resultant parameters of y11 y12 y21 and y22 so that's how we calculate the y22 parameters of the two port network for further <coughs> experiments you can do the experiments and uh, make the circuit diagrams as per the manual you will get the abcd parameters as well for any queries and any problem issues you can refer the manual or can contact to tesca technologies private limited thank you